Huh? Tell them why you pissed right now. I'm a little pissed right now. It's not on the fucking ball. Here's Tucci in the house. The number one film guys in the business. It's right there. Right Alright, what's going on everybody? We're back with another video. Another video. And uh, it's the 8th, I think, of June. And the last thing you probably saw about this subject was on one of the live streams that we did. Um, grinding some of the rear end down. If you guys caught that, this would make a lot more sense. Uh, if not, I might be able to pull highlights out of the original one. Out of the uh, out of live stream. And uh, be able to play that now. But... We're continuing that project. Everything is ground down on the rear end of Nick's car. And uh, we'll take a walk over there. Everything is ground down now, so it looks pretty much just like a bare rear. It's right here. And we have all the pieces, all the bracketry that needs to get welded on. So we can put this thing in. Uh, at least the uh, uppers and lowers in, and then we got to do the shocks, the anti-roll, but this is definitely one of the major pieces of the puzzle uh, that we're working on now. So, uh, we got all the pieces for the bottom torque boxes, but we're probably not going to... Sorry, uh, uh, Hey! Just... Look at this guy. They got what? What about it? They got it. They got it. So we have the bottom stuff, but I think one of the pieces we're not going to put in, so it'll only be single adjustable for now. I'll be right there. Oh, sure. Um, go, go, go. Um, yeah. So, kind of lost my train of thought on that whole deal, but... Uh, working on it now. We just got to pick up the rear end. He's going to break clean it some more, get it completely cleaned out. And I accidentally cut a little hole for the housing with the plasma cutter. So got to weld that out quick, grind it down, and then um, go from there. We also have to. Do you know where the lever is? Said about the hole before, and that. Yeah. That's it. Where the level is? You know, the. Where's my new marker? Look at that. Have that rule right there, man. The black one. It's not a Please. Got the nutty professor at work right now. The white nutty professor. Dad at it, doing all the work again. Not letting me touch it. So from, uh, I'm just talking to the camera. So from AA Performance, Tilio, he says it needs to be upside down and uh, 90. So we're at 90 now, and then we need to tilt it back about five degrees, and then it should be good. This is for the shocks. It's for the lower control arm. It's for the lower control arms, I'm sorry. The other piece is for the shocks. Oh, this piece for the shocks, I'm sorry. And this is for the lower control arm. I'm a little pissed right now. Huh? Tell him why you're pissed right now. I'm a little pissed right now. It's not on the fucking ball. Alright, so we got this. Took off the Oh. We got this side tacked in. I'm going to 
the shark's got to get tacked in too, but probably not tonight. We're going to do the other piece for the lowers. And uh, there's a bar that runs in between it, the two, to connect them. So we're going to test that out after this, but this is tacked in. We're going to grind the shit out of it. So I'm going to grind the shit out. I'm gonna grind the shit out of that. <laughs> yeah, what? 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 <laughs> oh, show off my hat. Well, uh, oh, here. Yeah, I'm the president. So what? I got a small piece. Uh, that's that's my only problem. We'll figure that part out. <laughs> no, I'm just gonna grind the shit out of this till it's straight. We're gonna grind the shit out of it till it's straight. I'm gonna grind the shit. I'm gonna grind the shit out of that. <laughs> yeah, what? 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 Oh, show off my hat. Well, oh, here. Yeah, I'm the president. So what? I got a small piece. <laughs> Not only is a master fabricator, but he's also a master AC builder. So it's the next day, it's Thursday, June 9th. Back out here again. Uh, he's welding, so. Pretty much just grind tips and uh, clean stuff, but. We're out here again. Yeah. Supposed to have somebody come fix the garage door. He did not call. Which is very sad. Because uh, it's a pain in the ass opening it. Now I'm turning on the fan. Quick mashed potato break. You good? Keep going. One side is completely finished. Now we should weld the other side, the outside part of that one, and then these are both in. Right. That could be straight. So right now we're working on the shock brackets, trying to figure out how that's supposed to go, which should go like that. There's the hand. But uh I'll fix this shit right up. All right, this is June 10th, back with another day of working on stuff. This video I'm gonna call the uh, the rear end chronicles because we're working on next rear end right now, getting the double A stuff on. And as you guys saw probably from a video about a month ago, uh, my Camaro's rear end, there's something wrong with it. It's making a big noise. Uh, it's broke, I would assume. Um, yeah, it's a brand new 12 bolt. And I uh, thought I was invincible, and uh, it turns out I'm not. So, back out here again. I'm gonna pull this forward, uh, and then slide a jack under there. Um, see if we have any jack stands. If not, no big deal. Uh, I just wanna feel around down there and see what the deal is, because I kinda just, it was broke, we parked it, and uh, I haven't come out since. All right, 
Got the classic uh, brick stand going there. Only at Tucci Racing you can find something so innovative. <laughs> Let's see. <coughs> I have no idea. I'm supposed to take the cover off, but I don't want to take the cover off and then it'd be a disgusting mess. So maybe I'll see if I can use these infamous brick stands and uh, uh, get it up high enough so I could take the cover off and let it drain out. Well, I'd say I'm not much of a betting man, but unfortunately I am. Uh, there's probably supposed to be a bolt in there. But we'll see. I don't think that's the problem, but that's not good. Yeah, like this ridiculous angle. I don't even know where the rear end. Oh, that's the rear end cover. So let's see. Okay, well, probably should have did it in an empty bucket, but there is oil on it, so that's a good start. Okay, so I don't know if I should be thrilled about this or not, but the rear end looks fine. Pinion looks fine. I don't know if it's loose, but it looks fine. It's not like moving around or anything. It looks like it's totally fine. The ring gear looks fine. There's nothing missing. Oh, God. Okay. Oh. That pretty much exceeds my uh, expertise on rear end, so. Okay, so. I can only see it this way, but. That is not good. And then, if that's not good, hold on, let me zoom out. That's not good. So, that could be it. I mean, look how bent it is. That means the rear end is like tilted up all the time. So I don't know if it was just the rear end was grinding in a weird way. Or the drive shaft is hitting something, or I have no idea. But. That's that good. I'm gonna have to get me one of them. Yeah. Alright, what's going on, guys? Back on Saturday. Back on this. Got some cheap C clamps from Harbor Freight. All right, so the shock brackets are a little bit odd and funky to put on. I'll show you a better example on this one, but you see there's a gap on each side. So right now, it's just grinding out the center pieces where my, where my thumb is. He's gonna grind some of that out, see if we can get a little bit closer and make it easier to slip in and out because it kind of has to go all in at one piece. You know, we have to put the bar in, the bar needs to be tight, and then the shock, the shock bracket needs to be tight to the bar and all that, so. A little bit tough, so you gotta grind some of that out. You see that, right? Yeah. Problem is, you gotta be careful that the thing goes in there still. Yeah. That's the line we have to have the bottom on. So really one of the tough parts about this is that you kind of have to have the bar in and set and 
they got the C clamps and it's almost like a four person job it feels like just how much stuff you got to hold at one time but uh, it looks like we'll be able to attack um, I'll use the reference we're tacking that side but I'll use this side as a reference so it looks like we'll probably tack the bar and then we'll tack the upper pieces I mean for the shock uh, brackets the bottom and the top so then once that's done and welded we can take all that stuff off and then it should realistically it should pretty much stay where it is and we don't have to worry about this All right, so everything is stacked on, and it looks good. Also, we have to cut the bar a little bit, but it's about a quarter of an inch off, so. But it was already so set up and ready to go to go from the hassle of taking all apart and then measuring it back up. It wasn't worth it. So we'll just have to cut a, a quarter inch off, one off this side. What we'll do is we'll tighten them up. Yeah. Then we weld the whole thing. Yeah. The heat and everything. Yeah. All right, so that is all tacked in, looking great. Um, special thanks to Atelio AA and uh, TRZ for all the help and their, uh, some of the welding is like artwork, so their artwork. Uh, that's how we're looking, so he'll probably, um, I gotta run, but uh, this will probably be welded up and then uh, we gotta start, what? Oh, I gotta go to my fiance's house. He wanted everybody to know that. But it should be all welded up, and then we can work on the shock, um, cross member bracket pieces, and stuff like that, so we get the shocks in. Okay, now, it's downpouring outside, and I just picked up a pizza order for Uber Eats, because that's what I do for fun nowadays, is do Uber Eats. And they don't even give you a box, they give you a bag, and now the bag is f soaking wet, so much so that there was meatballs in a bag, and the bottom of the bag blew out. Now, do I, A... Be a good person and just give them the stop and shop bag and deliver their food for the $3 I'm going to get. Or B, do I just not deliver it because there's no way I could possibly have the courage of walking up and giving them a wet pizza? What do I do? All right, we got a fucking update. This pizza's f***ing good, bro. Wow. 